I want to show you how you can add the app Grammarly to your copy of Microsoft Word. Grammarly is this fantastic and free app that helps correct your grammar and writing and your sentence structure so it goes a lot smoother. It'll capture a lot of errors that you make and it's a lot more powerful than Microsoft Word's Grammar Checker. Uh, so let's uh, let's find how to uh, do this. Let's type uh, how uh, no grammarly uh, for word install. So let's search there, and um, we have grammarly for Microsoft Word. It's our first choice here. That that sounds pretty good. Let's click there and get it for windows it's free also available for mac let's click on this one and here we've got um uh, a link now follow these simple instructions for adding the add-in if uh didn't download download here so i can click on that and i get the file and i can save it and then i can run it but um this is for um uh microsoft office with uh, the pc let's get um grammarly um for office mac let's google that uh how can i add grammarly to microsoft word on mac and here's the page that comes up and it gives you some instructions there. So you can follow the instructions for the PC or follow the instructions for Mac to get it installed. And when it um, gets it installed, here's a, here's a paper that I have written. Um, It's a pretty long paper, um, and I've already submitted it to publication. So let's let's see. I wrote it a while ago before I had Grammarly. There's a tab up here for Grammarly, and I go to Open Grammarly, and it takes up part of the page. And I can I can adjust how much it takes up, and it runs, and it says. Uh, all the basic issues, those are the ones you get for free. And then the premium issues you can pay for if you want, but I don't think they're as important as the basic issues. And you scroll down and it'll tell you, it'll give you suggestions. Now you, you shouldn't believe things uh, uh, mindlessly because sometimes Grammarly is wrong. So this is a pretty polished paper. I hope I don't have too many issues. I've already submitted it to publication. I hope it's published soon. So I have a sentence, however, a number of critiques of this trend have also appeared. And it says, a number of, change wording. I click on this and it, changes, it says to change it to several, some, or many. Oh, I can replace three words with one word. However, several critiques, and I can choose several. However, several critique, critiques of this trend have also appeared. Eh, that's pretty good. It might be a teeny tiny bit better. I keep on scrolling down, and aha, it says meaning. And the sentence, the first set of reasons for a humble response concerns the wide range of meaning of many of the terms associated with honor and shame. And it says change meaning to meanings, the wide range of meanings. Ooh, normally you would have a wide range of whatever you have is in plural, but here, wide range of meaning is usually constructed as a singular if you google the phrase wide ra range of meaning or range of meanings you'll see that the phrase range of meaning is a lot more uh common it, it didn't uh uh it didn't google it to see which one was more common so this is a mistake it shouldn't be the range of meanings it should be the range of meanings i'm going to just skip that one it says responds uh, I click that and it says, oh, response. 
Let's see, this is a missiological application to these concepts will be proposed that focus on recognizing the importance of using more precise vocabulary when discussing honor and shame dynamics, the importance of paying attention to cultural dimensions when describing cultures, and the importance of proclaiming the whole gospel, which responds to a broad range of human needs. Response? Oh, that wouldn't make sense at all. It was a long, complex sentence, and it got confused. Let's go on. Um, let's see. How about potential here? Uh, the information theory, the information threat of of the information threat theory of shame predicts that a person will feel shame anytime there is actual, probable, or even potential negative evaluations of self. And it says potentially. Oh, that would have been better. Potentially negative evaluations is better than potential negative evaluations. So I click on potentially, and that would give me a better uh, 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 expression, potentially negative evaluations. And you can go through and choose all the uh, uh, changes that it proposes that are, are uh, correct. So use Grammarly because it is a great tool for uh, figuring out how to uh, improve your uh, your sentence structure, how to get rid of awkward sentences, and how to improve your clarity.